Hi, welcome to the third part of our video series on customizing the user interface in Dynamics Nav. This video will discuss how to customize fast tabs and charts. Let's first look at how we can customize a fast tab. Customizing a fast tab is all about showing which fields you want to display or to hide. We can define the importance of a field as standard, promoted, and additional. Here you can see that I have opened a customer card. And it has different fast tabs such as general, communication, invoicing, payment, shipping, and for foreign trade. You can also see the customer number, the address, salesperson code, and so on. I also see some fields that maybe I don't use, like the service zone and responsibility center, so I'd like to remove them from the general fast tab. However, instead of removing specific fields in the fast tab, it's better to look at the contents of the fields and use the importance function. For example, if I don't use the responsibility center, there's no reason to display it in my customer card, so I'll use the importance function. To do this, I'll go into my application menu, select customize, and customize this page. And then I'll select the fast tabs and customize fast tab. I'll just expand this. You can already see that all these fields have a specific value here in the importance field. There are three different values that we can use. The first one is promoted. Promoted means that the fields are shown in a collapsed fast tab. If you close a specific fast tab and you still see some fields appearing, then these are promoted fields. Then you have standard fields. Standard fields are not shown on the collapsed fast tab, but are always shown in an expanded fast tab. So if you open a fast tab, you will always see the standard fields together with the promoted fields. And then there's a third importance. For example, if I select Responsibility Center, if I go to Importance, I can also make the fields additional. So Responsibility Center and Service Zone and I address two, for example. So I'll just select these. Then I'll just make the importance as additional for address two as well. And for the responsibility center. So now if I click OK, you'll see that three, these three fields won't appear anymore. it's no longer here as you've noticed. So the system makes it seem like they have been removed. However, they aren't really removed. They're hidden by the system because what you see now is that there's a link to show more fields. And if I simply, simply click on to show more fields, you'll see the links appear again. So here's a service zone, responsibility center, and address too. Instead of removing fields, it might be a better idea to make them additional because then you still have them available whenever you want. As mentioned, standard fields are always shown when you open a fast tab, and then the promoted fields are shown when you collapse, when you close a fast tab. So I'll just close this to show you an example. And I'll close the general tab as well. So here in the general tab, you can see that my customer number, the name, and address information are promoted fields, and these are shown even when my general fast tab is closed. And so that's the way that we can assign importances to the fields in fast tabs and use cards and fast tabs as, efficient, as efficiently as possible. Now let's look at how we can customize charts. Apart from displaying charts in your role center, you can also display lists as a chart by customizing the chart. Any list that you have, a customer list, an item list, the chart of accounts, you can display these lists as a list or as a chart. I'll use my chart of accounts as an example. And then I'll select show as chart. From here, you'll see that the list or the display option is now changed to a chart. However, the chart will only be displayed if I customize it. So I'll put in a filter to see accounts 80 to 89. 
And then for a measure, I'd like to put in a net change. Next, I can select a dimension. So I'll pick a number. And once I, once I select this, you'll see that the system will display a chart. Besides the standard view where I'm using one measure and one dimension, you can also extend a chart by using multiple measures or a second dimension. So for dimension, I'll just select my department. So for example, if I'm looking at some expense accounts and I'd like to see the, these expense accounts related to different departments that we have used. From here, we see a 3D graph that displays the different expenses of my different departments. By adding a second dimension, you can also get three-dimensional graphic. Another thing that you can also add is multiple measures. So for example, I would want to add the balance to my net change. So now you can see both the net change and the balance that we have. It's also interesting to note that we can go to the application menu to customize and then go to customize chart. Here you can specify all these different things and you can see that we can enter up to six different measures that we can use in the chart. You can see the different dimensions that can be assigned and so on. Also here in the ribbon, you can see that it's possible to export charts or to copy existing charts. These are the customization options that you have when creating charts or when you want to show a list as a chart. And if I just exit out of this and then select show as list, I can see that my chart of accounts are displayed as a list again, but notice that it's still using the same filters as the one that I've used in my chart. And this concludes this video on customizing fast tabs and charts in Dynamics Nav. Thanks for watching.